on today's episode of On Our Campus. Ava Price, June Tree Spotlights AP English teacher, Sharon Womack. Master's degree in English and um, education certificate and have taught. Isabella Summerson takes a look behind the scenes of our fundraiser. I would probably change how like chaotic everything went. And Morgan Holloman gives a spotlight on Jennifer Teeters. Something always told me that I would be a good teacher. All of that and more coming up on this episode of On Our Campus. to the first episode of On Our Campus of the New Year. I'm Carly Irvin. And I'm Garrett Pendergraft. Last year was great, but this one will be even better. Absolutely. For our first story today, senior Ava Price Gentry shines a spotlight on AP English teacher Sharon Womack. Miss Womack is an English teacher here at Arkansas High that teaches the 11th and 12th grade. While she teaches here now, the journey has been long. She taught at Washington Academy, and when it closed down, she moved to Central Arkansas for a few years. After that, she realized it was time to come back home. I wanted to teach here at Arkansas High, and there happened to be an opening, and I asked if I could come back, and they said yes. While she enjoys teaching, it's not always what she wanted to do. She comes from a long line of teachers, but wanted to try other things before she went that route. In the end, she followed in the footsteps of her family. My first choice was to be a social worker, so that's what I went to college for at first, and so I went back several years later and got my master's degree in English. Ms. Womack understands the importance of getting to know her students personally. She sees that it is significant to have that bond and it shows through her teaching. If you can get to know people on a personal level, then you can figure out what it is they want to do. Her students also appreciate the relationship that she has with them. She shows that she cares by not rushing through lessons and being considerate of others. She takes her time with the teaching and like she's real nice and if you need extra help, she'll give it to you. With Miss Womack teaching older kids, she finds it thrilling to be a part of their life while they enter adulthood. They're on the cusp of going out to their next phase in life, and it's exciting to help them uh, plan for that, to help them achieve that, and see you know, what they're gonna be in life. An interesting fact about Miss Womack is that she can be double the fun when around her sister. I have an identical twin sister, and we, look a little different at this age, but we sound exactly alike. You couldn't tell the difference. For Razorback TV, I'm Ava Price. Thanks, Ava. On Friday, January 13th, we at RTV held our annual telethon fundraiser. There were games, interviews, and even a hot wing contest. It was a lot of fun, and we even exceeded our goal. It was a complete success, and we want to thank everyone who watched, participated, donated, and sponsored. Junior Isabella Summerson gives a look behind the scenes of that day. Razorback TV held their annual live stream on January 13, 2023. The live stream consisted of a series of segments, including interviews, a gingerbread building competition, an Asian food taste test, and more. With about 30 students working on the stream and helping with the success of the event, the stream lasted seven hours long and raised over $6,000. The money raised from the event allows select students to attend ASPA and Skills USA, which are both media competitions that give students the opportunity to win a series of broadcasting awards. According to Technical Director Baylor McClelland, working on the stream was chaotic, however still believes it was an overall success. I would probably change how like chaotic everything went because behind the scenes everyone was so stressed out it felt like everyone was going to have just like a collective panic attack any second and <laughs> it was just a lot of stress so just getting able to, or being able to bounce off of everybody just sort of to work together to try to figure out what what we could do better what we could what we could improve on just like during the live stream it was very helpful the hardships didn't stop the Razorback TV students from working hard and persevering. Anchor Cabrian King enjoyed working on the stream overall. My favorite segment would have to be um, trying the Asian foods. That was so very neat and I do love just like being able to try different things from different cultures or of course participating with two wonderful people. However, he did agree there were some adjustments to make. Um, something that I would change about the live stream going forward would be the time. Um, like I mentioned, we had so many segments and we were not able to do all of those segments because of the time. 
All in all, the students agreed that the RTV annual live stream was a great achievement for the class and are eager for next year's live. With Razorback TV, I'm Isabella Summerson. Thanks, Bella. It was a great day, and I can't wait to see how we top it next year. For sure. Our final story, sophomore reporter Morgan Holloman talks to Jennifer Teeters. Holy Jesus. Miss Teeters is one of the English yeah. teachers at Arkansas well, High. Just stop. She has been Don't teaching here for almost you. two years. I have been teaching at Arkansas High for a, about a year and a half. I will be finishing my second year this year. Before teaching at Arkansas High, she worked in nonprofit for 10 years before she decided to start her second yeah. career. I was in nonprofit development and grant writing. I actually ended up having a serious case of nonprofit burnout and so kind of started my second career uh, and that's what led me to teaching. Miss Teeters enjoys being a part of the history of Arkansas High. I think a lot of people don't know the history of the mascot. And then of course it's also really neat uh, getting to teach with my mom. So I think deep down something always told me that I would be a good teacher when I was young and going to college I was stubborn and didn't want to follow in my mom's footsteps. Some of her students describe her as she is very energetic. She's very helpful. One student says Miss Teeters has amazing teaching methods. She like she makes it fun, but it's not she's not too strict either. It's like it's kinda like I don't know, going like a birthday party, but there's like a set of rules you have to follow. But you can still like have fun at the birthday party. Miss Teeters would like her students to be good citizens after high school. The best piece of advice that I give my seniors is be involved, be an informed citizen. There are so many pressing issues in our country here locally, in the world, and if you are informed, you can really change the world. With Razorback TV, I'm Morgan Holloman. Thanks, Morgan. That's all for our show. Thank you to Morgan, Ava, and Bella for their in-depth looks at Arkansas High School. The Razorback Theater Company performed their play, and Caitlin Meadows will have a story on that in the coming weeks. We'll release it on our Instagram and our YouTube. For more Razorback content, follow us on YouTube at Razorback TV Live, on Instagram at Razorback TV, and wherever podcasts are distributed at the Razorback TV Podcast. I'm Garrett Pendergraft. And I'm Carly Irvin. Have a great day.